welcome to my channel, Messing with Michelle. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Michelle. So today's video I'm actually really excited about because I've been waiting to decorate around the house for the last couple weeks. I had a few new items that I bought and I wanted to just pull everything together and just have a nice, fresh new look for a fresh new year. So I'm gonna be focusing on my mantle, my hallway table, and I bought a few new cushions as well as a throw for my couch. These are the typical areas I love to design and just redecorate because these are the areas of the house that really stand out and you really see when you come into the house. So I'll show you what I bought first and then I'll jump in and start the decorating process. Before I actually show you what I bought for my new decor for my living room, I'm going to show you an overview of my living room because if you haven't been in my channel before, you may have not seen this space. So this is my living room area. I added pops of yellow in the summertime and I redecorated my mantle in the spring. So I just wanted to refresh the look and just add more neutral colors. I have some green in my planters on my mantle and I wanted to switch those out for a more neutral look when it comes to florals. And I'm also going to be focusing on decorating my hallway table as well as my planter just to bring in the neutral tones in this area as well. Here's all the new decor that I bought for my living room as well as my front hallway table and planter. And I am using a lot of colors that I previously had, particularly the cream color and the black accents. I really like the way it looks in this space, but I wanted to switch things out and just have a new, more fresh look. And as I mentioned, I wanted to take some of the greenery out and replace it with a more neutral floral decor. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking everything off my mantle. And you're gonna see that I'm not going to remove the vase as well as the planter because I'm going to be reusing those. One of the things I love about my mantle and the decor that I previously had selected is that I can redecorate these items and I can put new floral arrangements in them just to switch up the look. And I found these really great feather-like branches from Urban Barn and I really like the height and I like to put a little bit of a height into my living room, especially on the mantle, because it just draws your eyes up and down and makes more visual interest when you first walk into the room. I bought these florals as well from Urban Barn. I wanted to add a bit of contrasting colors to add to the vase. So I like to also add contrasting colors just to break up the look. So I'm gonna be using black accents and this is going to pair well with the florals that I've chosen for this vase. So this way, just not solid cream or white in this area. It just gives a little bit more visual interest to have two different colors in the same vase. I found these candlestick holders from H&M and I absolutely love them. They're really cost effective, they didn't cost a lot and they just have a nice visual interest to them which I, as I mentioned a couple of times, really like on my mantle. So I had a more traditional candlestick on my mantle previously but just switching it out with the same accent color but just a different shape and different type of look really makes things changed up in this space. It makes it more fresh feeling. I wanted to add new florals to this small planter and I had a vision in mind of what I wanted. I knew that I wanted to go for a neutral look and I was looking for a small low-lying type of plant so it wasn't too high when you put it inside the planter but I couldn't find anything pre-made that was the size that I was looking for. So with the help of this arrangement that I bought from HomeSense, I'm gonna just create my own arrangement. I had a vision in mind and I didn't really have a real plan of what I was gonna do. I just knew that I wanted to have this type of look. So I just fiddled around with the planter it just took some time to figure out what I wanted to do and how high I wanted to have the arrangement. So I just found it was just helpful to have this little arrangement pre-made, but then I was able to cut down the branches to size, so this way I could fit it for this specific planter. Here's the end result, what I've come up with for this planter, and it definitely came to life my vision. I'm really happy how it turned out, and it gives that neutral look, but also very low lines. So this way it's not overwhelming inside this small, short planter. Mm -hmm. 
I've been on the hunt for a new lamp for quite a while. This lamp still works, but it's a bit wobbly, so I wanted to switch it out, and I came across this lamp from Buclair, and I'm just so happy how it looks on this side table. So I'm still keeping the neutral look on the table because it's a nice contrasting color against the dark side table, but it also looks very similar to the planters on the mantel, so it ties in the room really great together. From the mantel to the lamp, everything is more cohesive. I'm replacing the planter for my fake tree, or should I say my faux tree, that sounds a lot nicer. But I wanted to change out the planter because it seemed a little bit too small for the base. And I wanted to add a little bit of extra height as well, some contrasting color, because I had the dark floors, the dark planter, and it really just got blended in. So this nice wicker basket really helps pop and stand out a little bit more against the dark flooring. I'm also redecorating the front hallway and I'm going to be pulling in the neutral decor in my planter as well as the front hallway table. These are the areas you see when you first walk in the house. And going back to what I had mentioned is just using items that you already currently have but just decorate them in a different way. So I just added this different floral arrangement in the planter when you first walk in just to change up the look. And I'm also going to be adding just a few vases on top of this hallway table. So this way I have the contrasting black and cream and tying in the neutral palette in this area as well. I really like the height of these vases next to each other but I found that having just two on the tray just felt a little bit off so I just actually am going to be taking a vase that I had previously on my mantle and popping it on the tray because when you have things paired in threes especially with home accents and decor it just looks really great and this vase was a perfect match for this area. So I finished up decorating my living room as well as my front hallway and here's just a reminder what the living room looked like so you can see the difference between the before and after. And coming up is the after and just a few shots of how everything looks. Now when it comes to decor, I did keep the color palette neutral. I did switch out the pillows and added a new throw and I just also switched out some of the home accents on my mantle. But I didn't really deviate away from my original color palette. I just took out the greenery and I didn't really want to reinvent the wheel. I just wanted to freshen up the look and I really knew that the neutral colors with the pops of black accents really worked in this space. So you can still have the same color palette, just change out your decor slightly and you feel like you have a fresh new look. And that's exactly how I feel with my mantle, just by switching out the floral decor as well as my candlesticks and just switching out the accents on the mantle really changed up how this room feels. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for staying on here and not clicking off. I really appreciate you staying to the end and seeing how everything turned out. I hope this video gave you some inspo for your mantle or your living room and just gave you some ideas to refresh around your house. So if you like this type of content, definitely give that like button a hit before you leave and I will catch you in my next video when I upload next. Thanks for watching, bye.